What's up guys, John Haas, RNCCRN here with InterSMG.com. Today we're gonna to talk about everybody's favorite topic, SATA questions, select all that apply or multiple response questions, whatever you wanna call them. Now, if you struggle with test taking or you need additional help with select all that apply questions, I'd like to invite you to enroll in the InterSMG Academy. Within the InterSMG Academy, we have an entire course on test taking with modules on select all that apply questions, as well as 4,000 NCLEX practice questions you can find that over at InterSNG.com or InterSNG.com slash academy. Now, real quickly, why do these matter so much? In your previous education experiences, you usually don't get questions like these. With these questions, you're going to get your question, and then you're going to get five to six answer options. And you have to choose which of those are correct. So it's just a little bit different than a normal question where you're given a true-false statement or you're given a question with a single answer. You, you're having to select which of all the answer options are correct. Now, one of the most common questions we get about SATA questions is how many can be correct? So we dug into this, we really looked and tried to dispel all the urban myths and urban legends, and we went straight to the NCSBN website and kind of dug through their website to figure out exactly the right answer for this. Now, according to the NCSBN, which is the company that writes the NCLEX, at least two answer options are going to be correct. They don't tell you how many can be correct. So they don't really like to give it to you to say all of them could be correct, but they're gonna tell us basically that at least two can be correct. Now here's exactly what they say. Multiple response items require a candidate to select two or more responses. Now it's pretty clear right there, it's requiring you to select two or more responses. So at least two of the question items are going to be correct answers. Now, another question we get a lot of times is, do you get partial credit if you get some of the answers correct? Sadly, you don't. Select all that apply or SATA questions or multiple response questions are all or none. You have to select all of the correct answers and none of the incorrect answers to get credit for that question. Now, because of this, generally, these are the more difficult questions. If you're seeing a lot of select all that apply questions, generally you're doing pretty well on the exam because this is all structured by Bloom's taxonomy, which means as you move to more cognitively demanding type questions, they're gonna get a little bit harder. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into some tips on how you can answer SATA questions. Now I'm gonna give you three basic tips and I call this the NCLEX success pyramid. It's really simple, three things that you need to do anytime you see a SATA question. The first thing that you do is you cover up all the answer options. Cover them all up, read the question, and don't look at any of the answer options yet. The next thing that you do is you begin to evaluate each answer option individually. So you move your hand down or your paper down one by one as you look at the different answer options. Not looking at all of them together, looking at them one by one. The last thing that you do guys is as you're evaluating those answer options, you turn them into true false statements. So look at the question and try to break the question down into a true false statement. And does the answer option apply to that statement? So if you have a question about heart failure, say, would a patient with heart failure experience fluid volume overload? And start to break it down like that. Don't read the question and try to apply the answer. Turn the question into a true false statement and see if yes or no, that answer option applies to that question. If it's true, then you can select that. If it's false, then you move on. So again, the three pieces of the SATA success pyramid are to cover all options, evaluate each answer option individually, and turn each answer option into a true false statement. If you can do these three things, you're gonna find a lot greater success with SATA questions. If you find greater success with SATA questions, you're going to improve your testing scores, and you're gonna see that you can pass the NCLEX in 75 questions because you're gonna to advance to those more difficult questions much faster and be able to pass in a faster rate. So it's very possible to find success with these and to do well on select all that apply questions. You just have to work through the process.